Hey you guys, Lissandra here, and today I'm going to do a blog, I know it's been a while since the last time I did a blog, um, mainly because I've been busy, you know, uh, finals are, uh, been over for almost like a week now, uh, and on the 15th, and, um, pretty much it's just my job, but also have to do like a bunch of errands and uh, other shit and uh, other stuff to deal with uh, and stuff around the house and all yeah and pretty much I've been busy I haven't uh, on top of that I haven't been on the mood of uh, uh, I guess just making videos or anything like that uh, and mo most most of the time that I want to make videos is not something that uh, like for more people that they uh, they're gonna spend a co uh, couple of hours doing videos and all and uh, and just for the not much certain or guarantee that uh, a lot of people are gonna watch it and all I understand that video quality dedication and everything it, it pays off and all but uh, but I'm not the type and also uh, yeah, I have to keep in mind that I have a job and everything, and uh, yeah, even even though it's at my uh, even though it's at my computer uh, at my uh, office at home from uh, work from home and everything, or whether it's going out or uh, clients come uh, come into my house and everything, it pretty much uh, it pretty much takes up a lot of my time. Uh, apart from other personal stuff, but um, mainly I've been feeling a little bit frustrated over a bunch of nonsense and, and a bunch of just complete uh, complete trivialities and stupid shit. But uh, I'm I'm gonna say uh, one one of the little frustrations that uh, I guess I've um, uh, been de uh, dealing with it. it it's not that big or anything, but I'm sure a lot of y'all, especially if y'all live in the Houston area, y'all probably understand. Uh, mainly, one of the little issues I've been uh, dealing with is is mainly uh, when you go when you go out driving, you know, uh, you expect to uh, you expect to get from point A to point B. You don't think about anything other than from point A to point B but the thing is that it's unbelievable the level of people that drive and everything the uh, let me let me spit it out there's a bunch of crazy motherfuckers out there that uh, don't even know how to fucking drive like seriously there's there's it ranges from crazy uh crazy road rage motherfuckers to people talking on the phone or people being careless or people trying to cut you off or people just uh trying to pass you over or any any of those shit how in the fuck do these people get their license in the first place i would i would have thought that getting your license would kind of weed out a lot of the, those people and all but uh also keep in mind that there are a lot of people that are driving without a license or anything they just risk it uh, and everything uh, and seriously those those are the type of people that we have out there a bunch of fucking idiot morons just cutting you over and, and everything and um and there's a bunch of ties that get on my nerves like for example like like Especially these people with these huge trucks and everything, they um, and a lot of them are just fucking complete idiots that they just just drive like rampant crazy, uh, rampant crazy and shit. Other others have these uh have these these big trucks and everything. They uh apparently they designed them for racing and stuff, or quote unquote racing uh. And everything, and they, uh, as soon as they take off, they have these, um, uh, these loud ass mufflers and shit, and it's uh, just fucking annoying as fuck. And you have to deal with these type of people, and and seriously, 
uh, and, and here's my deal. If I was a cop, I would stop a lot of these uh, stupid motherfuckers out there that uh, that pretty much make everything uh, much more difficult. That pretty much make driving unpleasant. When you get out of work and everything, the last thing you want to deal with is some stupid fucking idiot that that's driving all crazy and all. Or some uh, somebody that's just fucking careless or going slow just to your fucking text his uh, girlfriend or whoever the fuck they're texting or anything like that. Now, I understand some people that are on the job and everything like that. But even then, that's uh, it affects people. because Why? Because you're affecting other people's schedule. You're affecting uh, other people. If you if you're tired from work, you're driving home, and you uh, you're dealing with some crazy motherfucker that uh, just driving crazy crazy, and you you're already frustrated from work. Wouldn't that piss you off? Wouldn't that make you a crazy road rage motherfucker that just is pretty much upset at some dumbass idiot that just um just making it more difficult than what it is and that that not only goes for the people that cut you off that not only goes for those uh rampant crazy uh huge truck drivers that also goes for the uh fucking slow pokes that are just driving slow backing up traffic and just texting where the fuck they're texting and all or, or on the phone and all not not that long ago um I was, uh, we all live in the, uh, Houston area, you know, I was, um, by a telephone, you know, and, uh, this crazy idiot, uh, he was, he, he was just driving, he was like, I don't know what the fuck was, was his deal, he you he, I don't remember if he was texting or talking, and then, he, uh, he was checking out this chick on the, um, this chick on the sidewalk walking and everything and pretty much was about to hit me and all and just fucking idiot uh just plain idiot if i had a honked or anything um that pretty much pretty much uh, would have hit me and all and all and i think personally I know there's a lot of people that don't uh, aren't that fond of cops or anything like that, but in a sense, I'm grateful a lot of them are out there. Uh, in in the sense that some of the people that drive, they fucking have the ticket coming and all. They uh, if they get stopped, they fucking had it coming, because uh, they're just fucking idiots that don't don't care. They just drive however the fuck they want. And they just, uh, f they just fuck with traffic and all. Uh, I guess this is the best way I can explain it and all. This is, uh, I can't stand those people, seriously. I can't stand those, uh, those idiots. You, you honk, uh, you pretty much honk at these people. Uh, the, when they're trying to cut you off, when they're, when they're, they're pretty much about to hit you. And then they get uh, they get all mad at shit because they think they're in the right. They think you're the one taking advantage of them, when in reality they're the ones taking advantage, um, advantage and everything. Then there's these other people, and, and I saw one today. These people that just pretty much haul ass. They just as soon as they get out of the parking lot, they pretty much haul ass, or is vice versa. They're coming from the street hauling ass. And they just pretty much rush into the parking space. And they don't give a care that they... They pretty much risk hitting someone at all. They uh, pretty much uh, risk running over your ass and, and everything. It's, it's these idiots. And, and... Why the fuck do we have these idiots in the, in the fucking road? Because... Here's my thought. We wouldn't have any need for insurance in the first place 
if people were more c careful and not just and not completely careless but because of the fact that people uh, are fucking careless they don't care they just do whatever fuck they want they pretty much uh, this is pretty much the reason why uh, a lot uh, a shitload of us are paying insurance especially dealing with those fucking ex expensive quotes and all because think about it, it let, me, let me ask you this if you were driving let's say insurance isn't required let's just say the quote unquote rich people are, all, are the only ones that have insurance because it's a wise thing to do and all to cover damages and all if, if you didn't if you didn't have any money to uh, to buy insurance or anything wouldn't you be more careful what you uh, uh, with your car and not just be completely careless because you have insurance and all insurance isn't gonna save your life insurance isn't gonna uh, make your car invulnerable or anything and that's what the thing is people use ins uh, I want to say insurance but people use uh, use the fact of coverage as uh, kind of a crutch and all if you were uh, if you didn't have anything to protect you you would be more careful if you knew uh, that you're gonna cr crash and uh, it's gonna fuck up your car and you uh, and, and nobody's gonna pay for that damage except you out of your own pocket or in case let's say um, some dumbass uh, uh, runs into you or hits you or whatever wouldn't you be more careful uh, uh, over what you're doing and all wouldn't you be more uh, much more careful where uh, when driving and all and, and, and let me uh, let me put uh, kind of look like this thought experiment suppose you're in a car and you're driving and let's say that they tell you uh, that if you hit someone if you drive recklessly if you speed up or do any traffic violations or getting any accident there's a let's just say that there's so uh, there's something strapped to you that if, if you do any of those things it's gonna instantly kill you okay this is remember this is just a thought experiment if that was the case w would you not be more careful would you not be more careful considering it's your own life and that circumstance wouldn't you be more careful with that and uh and just just think about it and, and in reality in a sense it is that case because why because you when you're driving a vehicle you 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 practically have a weapon you not only are a potential threat to other people but you're a threat to yourself as well depending on on uh, how big the accident but it's still a threat to others as well as yourself and to all those and to all those idiots out there that like to talk uh, talk and text while driving I uh, understand uh, some people uh, uh, pick up the phone and all but they try to minimize it and do as little as possible but to those idiots that like to hang on to the phone while holding on the steering wheel like a fucking dumbass uh, and all Fu fuck you you stupid motherfuckers seriously learn to fucking drive you stupid motherfuckers learn to fucking drive put the phone away it's, it isn't that important it's texting that more important than your own fucking life or the life of other people and I'm with that uh by the way, I support that that AT and T uh, uh, campaign that uh, referring to it can wait. That campaign that uh, that targets those people that text and drive. I'm I'm in favor of that 100%. Keep in mind, I'm also an AT and T shareholder. So hell yeah, I I am with that shit. I I do agree with that concept. The putting your phone away while 
while driving and all. Seriously, put the fucking shit away. Put it away because it isn't worth it for anything. Okay? I guess I bent it a little, uh, little, the little frustration to deal with, with these fucking idiots out there that, um, I guess make, make things a lot more stressful for other people, especially people that are coming out from work and all. You think they, uh, you think they want to be putting up with fucking idiots like, like them? No, fuck no. Well, anyway, that'll be all for now. Um... Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys. Uh, uh, um, I'll check with you guys uh, next time. Oh, man, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm really tired. I'm mixing up my words and all, but um, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.